Guys, I know everybody that's guilty says this, but I didn't do it. I was framed. And that story is coming up next. So, one of my one day, one of my buddies, and this was, I guess it was October, and one of my buddies saw, <laughs> he came to us and he's like, hey, dude, I just, uh, I stole a snowblower. Like, good for you. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, he's like, yeah. You know, uh, I was walking by and the garage was open. And I'm like, hey, pff, I'll take that, you know. And then uh, he's like, let's go get some coke. <laughs> okay. Well, now we're just partying and hanging out. And I'm like, dude, it's October. Like, winter is coming. You ought to make a business out of that. Like, just, you know, go around collecting snowmobiles and there's going to be a big demand for snowmobiles. Or snowblowers, whatever. Snowblowers. That's, if I said snowmobile, I meant snowblowers. And uh, he's like, yeah, that's a good idea. Now, guys... If I am just having casual conversation with someone and I say, dude, you should rob that bank. They tell me they want a Ferrari or something. Dude, why don't you go rob a bank for it? And he goes and robs a bank. The police can't come to me and say, but you told him to do it. He was working for you. But let me tell you, that's exactly what happened. Okay? Because him and like two or three of his buddies started doing this. And then, like, I would have told them this was a stupid idea if they would have came to me, but they went to my next door neighbor who was always, just had a chip on his shoulder. I don't know what their problem was. They always hated me and my whole family and whatever. And uh, so, not friends, okay? But they were all neighborhood kids and they all knew each other. And so, those guys knew my neighbor and they asked him for a ride to go hawk this uh, snowblower. Like, dude, if you would have asked me, I would have told you that guy's an arc. Like, he's, he's, don't trust that kid. Well, he turned him in. They all, there was like three of them, they all got together and said, it was my fault. I hired, I like, I was hiring them to do it. They were working for me. They labeled me as the kingpin, like the ringleader. And even it was a, local newspaper article about it calling me a kingpin, a snowblower kingpin or something. Like, I didn't have anything to even do with it. Well, of course, they arrested me. And, uh, you know, I had a, cost me $5,000 for the attorney who did nothing. Luckily, my uh, best friend's dad is a cop. He went in there and talked to the state's attorney and got the charges dropped a little bit. But still, you know, I... I had to deal with that. It's like, I didn't even do it. I, I didn't do, I didn't steal one snowblower. I didn't sell one snowblower. I didn't go in anybody's, I didn't do any of that. I didn't go in anybody's garage. I didn't, none of that. Yet, I went down for it and they all got off because they narked on, you know, the, the ringleader. And of course, it was set up by the neighbor who was just laughing because he was trying to get, you know, at me. So, that's the, the, snowblower kingpin story well guys if you're still watching you must have liked the video and if you did give it a like now if you want to see more like this subscribe and click the bell if you got some extra time on your hands why not watch another one you can choose one from the stories of my life playlist which will appear here after i disappear or you could watch the next one in the series which will also appear here see you in the next one